Can you apply for citizenship while your application to remove conditions on your green card I-751 is still pending? This is the question we're going to answer in this video. We get this question a lot, so I decided to make a video. And if this is of interest to you, I'll see you on the other side. Hello everybody and welcome back to our immigration channel. This is the place where we get the most up-to-date immigration news, immigration information and everything else that you need to make your immigration journey less stressful. My name is Jacob Sapashik and I'm an immigration attorney located in San Diego, California and I help clients all over the United States and all over the world. And in this video I'm going to talk to you about a very common question that I get. Can I apply for citizenship while my application to remove conditions 751 is still pending? And again, this is a big issue for a lot of applicants because the removal of conditions is taking so long, sometimes over two years, and people are eligible to apply for citizenship and they're interested in filing for their citizenship. So it's important to go over some important points that could affect your application if you do so. So make sure you watch this video all the way until the end. Before we do that, if you're here for the first time, do not forget to subscribe to our immigration channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos and also give us a big like so YouTube could recommend this video to more people just like you. So typically when you are married less than two years and you apply for your green card, the kind of green card you're going to get after your first interview is only good for two years. And the reason is because immigration service need more time to verify that this is a legit marriage, give some more time for you to gather evidence and convince them that you are eligible for that green card. So what happens 90 days before that two-year anniversary, you have to file an application called I-751 to remove the conditions on the green card. If you don't file this on time, if you miss the deadline, you could have serious consequences to your green card and some people could even face removal. So while you file the 751 removal of conditions, you automatically get an extension of your green card for two years. It's a piece of paper, it's a document that is good for work and travel. And this application can be pending for a long time. That's why they're giving you that extension. And most applicants, once they get their first green card, they're typically eligible, as long as they're still married and residing with their spouse, to apply for citizenship after three years. This is the general rule. So should you apply for citizenship even before getting the approval on your I-751 petition to remove conditions? The general rule is that you can. You can apply for citizenship even if your application to remove conditions has not been approved yet. Even if it's still pending, the law allows you to apply for citizenship. However, UCIS is not going to approve your N-400 until your application, your 751, is also going to be approved. So essentially, it is kind of like a gamble because if you have complications with your 751 case, if they're going to call you for a second interview, sometimes conduct investigation on your case, your application for citizenship will also be pending as long as your 751 is not going to be approved. So how long does it take to apply for citizenship after applying for your application to remove conditions? So as long as you've been married to your US citizen spouse for three years, you can apply for your citizenship 90 days before the third anniversary of your green card. But what is the actual essential requirement for you to apply for citizenship at the same time of applying for removal conditions. First of all, you have to be a green card holder for at least three years. You also have to have continuous residence with your spouse for the entire three years since you got your green card. You also have to be living in the same household, not just be married. As long as you have those conditions, even if your I-751 application is still pending, you can apply for your citizenship. Now, is it recommended? It really depends. Because processing times are so long right now, both for N-400 and for I-751, if you have a strong case, if you truly believe that your 751 application is going to be approved, it's just a matter of time, then it is advisable to apply for your N-400 at the same time while your 751 application is pending because you're going to be saving a lot of time. As soon as your I-751 application is going to be approved, then it will give green light to UCIS to continue processing your N-400, call you for that final interview, and get your citizenship approved, you can save a lot of time by doing so. However, if you are applying based on marriage waiver, so let's say you've been married to your spouse, you're now going through a divorce, you're applying for your removal of conditions on your own with a good faith marriage waiver, at that point, I would not recommend to apply for your citizenship until you have approval for your I-751. Because imagine you file for your citizenship and then there are complications with your 751, 
they call you for an investigation, they want more evidence. Now you have two applications pending, one can delay the other, it's gonna be a whole mess. So if you are not married to a spouse, if you're not living in the same household together, and it's not a simple ISM 51 application, do not file for N400 at the same time while your ISM 51 application is pending. This is my personal opinion, and this is what I tell all my clients that are going through this process. If there are any complications in the 751, it's better to get that one resolved first and only then apply for your N400 application for citizenship. And finally, can you file the N400 application without an approved ISM 51? It is possible when you file that and you can put a cover letter requesting UCIS to at the interview to adjudicate your N400 and also go through your ISM 51 at the same time. Once again, I personally do not recommend that because it requires the agency to pull your A files from different sources, your green card file, your SM51, your N400. It creates complications, but there is a way to do it. Under section 319A of the Immigration and Nationality Act, you can request this to happen all at the same time. So hopefully this information has been helpful. I know I've been getting this question a lot and I've decided to make this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. If you need my help, if you're going through this process of immigration naturalization or ISM 51 removal of conditions, text me 619-483-4549. I can help you. We can get it resolved together. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.